abruptly, you guys, we are in April. Where is the time going? Okay? Like, wow. But, you guys, in this reading, make sure you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye-bye. As well as, if you are looking to follow me on any other social media platforms, all that information will be in the description box down below. So, without further ado, let's get into your reading. You guys, the first few cards we're going to touch bases on are balance spirituality and practicality full moon and pisces how you gonna pull your own card pisces i mean come on come through come through okay so with that it's giving me sometimes pisces we like to build our sand castles in the sky honey like we daydream a lot and when we daydream, we like to potentially, <sighs> we like to build fairy tales, okay? And sometimes our fairy tales don't have reality-based situations. So, and you guys, I can attest to that because I am a Pisces, honey. Like, sometimes, some, I'm not sometimes, a lot of the time, you know, um, earthly things hit me face on <laughs> because I like to look at things to a point of saying that I like to look at the gooder part of life instead of looking at the reality things because sometimes reality is harsh and I feel like for some of you you are doing the same thing like you know anything is possible right and that's the best thing about Pisces like we are fish honey like anything is possible like you know how sometimes they say with fish like when they're in a fishbowl they could go around the same fishbowl for 20 millions of times but see a different thing each time and that's the thing about Pisces like we can look at the same freaking movie over and over again, but see something different each time. See a different perspective each time. And that's the beauty of it. But a lot of people don't see that. And I feel like that's taking this card to a whole new perspective. Yeah, I know. I just like flipped it. Yeah, instead of giving it the real meaning, right? <laughs> But it's the same thing, but it's actually bringing it into reality. Like, bring it to reality and stop trying to sugarcoat what is really going on. So, it's saying, you know, basically, balance out what you're really seeing. You know, if it looks like a duck, smell like a duck, quack like a duck, baby girl, it's a duck, okay? Like, that's what's going on here. Is saying don't chase your own tail when you know that's your tail. Don't do that, right? So it's balance what's really going on. And notice, like, don't play yourself. I think that's the best way to say it. Because, you know, the spiritual world ain't raised no fool, baby. Okay. So the next card we have here is Prosperity Lies Ahead. Ooh. So, again, the spiritual growth you've been doing has brought you into prosperity. No matter what creative endeavors you are going into, is always abundant nature around you. And I feel like for some of you, others don't understand how, how, where, when, and why. But that's not for them to understand. It's only for you to understand, right? So we have here, the energy is gaining momentum. You better say that. Eh? So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's no other words to say to that other than enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Because I, I don't think people really understand how much you go through when it comes to either helping and giving to others and really being humble about it. Because I feel like a lot of Pisces are humble and people don't really understand how much Pisces go through to get to where you are, you know. Because, to be honest with you, a lot of Pisces, they don't really tell people, like, how much pain and hurt they go through. And it's not just Pisces either. Um, I am on your reading. But I do want to say, like, 
when you are a spiritual being, you go through a lot because those experiences is what helps carry you on to help others as well, right? So, you know, the energies that you take on helps give you that wisdom that you need to help, you know, other people. So it's gaining the momentum because you've put in that work, you know, you you grinded out a few kinks and you deserve the accolades for it, okay? So the next one you have is you are good enough. Know that you are good enough. And I feel like the reason why this came out is because <sighs> situations in life, right? Man, life is hard. But it's also good at the same time. It's a bittersweet. Um, you are good enough. Uh, I feel like it's situations that occur that make you feel like, is it my fault? You know, well, hey, you are good enough. You do deserve everything that comes towards you, good and bad. Because even if it's bad, you can still flip it to where it'll be good. So... You are good enough to deserve the blessings that are coming upon you. Never not think you are good enough, okay? So the last card you got is don't let your past hold you back. Your past is your past. You had to go through those lessons to get to where you are. And that takes you back to the card is prosperity lies ahead. So if you didn't go through those situations, then how would you make it this far to reach these benefits that are coming upon you okay honey two snaps you better say that okay so let's get into your reading a little more i mean things are moving momentum is picking up you are transforming my darlings and not only that it's like i feel like for some of you you are in this isolation. You are discovering you. And you are becoming stronger. Okay. Um, I feel like you're putting the pieces together. You are figuring out who are around you. Who who deserve to be in your presence. And I say that with all honesty of being selfish. Yes, I said the word selfish because at this moment, you don't want anyone in your energy that's not going to value you. You are learning your value. And at this moment, it's like, if you don't value me, then I don't want you around because either your energy is toxic or you just don't belong. You know, and it's not saying that in a mean way. It's just saying that you've taken on so many different energies that it depletes your energy. And you know the difference between people who actually cares and people who just want to use you for your energy, your power, your third eye. You know, it's like your intuitive insights. Like, you've been through that and you're tired. You're just like, look, I don't have time for it. No way, no ma'am, no hell. No, no, no. No, no, that's not going to work for me. No more. I can't. I can't. No. Like, so you are going within. You're taking on this journey. And you're like, when people decide that they want to come forward to you and they're not stepping to you correctly, you stop them at the door. I feel like before you weren't doing that, you were allowing them to come through the door and then you allowed them to do what they did. And then you was like, oh, okay, um, I don't think you should be doing that. But now you're like looking through the people. Hey, who are you? How are you doing? Uh, what? Or you don't even, you don't even say, how are you doing? You're just saying, uh, you let them get out the words. Like, you're not even saying hello. They're, like, at the door trying to peep through the peephole back. Like, uh, you know you can't see through when you peep it through the peephole from the outside, right? you like, uh, I don't care. Go ahead and peep if you want. I'm still sitting on the couch. I ain't even made it to the dough yet. Like, that's the energy here. I love it, Pisces. I freaking love it. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand, like, I'm in the same mood. Like, I'm in my jish. Okay, honey? Like, huh? So, we got solitude here. 
solitude is that that's this giving me that high priestess energy though even though it's like the hermit card it's still giving me that solitude the oh that solitude the high priestess energy which gives me like I'm connected to source. I'm I'm kind of I'm studying in a way. I don't know. It's more of I'm in tune with my star player. I look. It's like I got the handbook. So if you're trying to tell me something wrong, I already know what's going on. But I'm gonna just let you keep talking. Don't worry about it. You, you keep saying what you're saying, but. I already deep down, I already know. It's kind of like that that smart butt kid that knows it all, but that it's you kind of like that kid that I really know it all. So go ahead and keep talking. Oh, okay. And you know, like um, if you guys ever watched the movie Friday, it would she be like, "Call me later, girl." She be like, "Hey, hey. <laughs> that's y'all. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Like y'all is really giving me life." <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, okay, okay, yeah, that's the energy here, like, right, right, like, you trying to tell me what, oh, I already see it, like, what, oh, okay, right, like, I have a direct connection with Source, so, you trying to tell me what, hold on, let me go check, nope, that ain't what I got, you might want to go recheck your Source, <laughs> like, that's, y'all are really, like, in y'all, one two three like eh. <laughs> like don't try me honey don't don't do it so you got here positive movement forward like everything you're doing is moving you forward like you are taking the steps to to move forward here and you moving into common waters and i feel like for some of you you like it is with or without you is with or without you <laughs> like that's the energy here it's like i mean with or without whoever and you're like, I'm okay with being alone. And I feel like the reason why you feel like it's it's like I'm okay with being alone is because you get you think not you think, but you feel as though a lot of people don't understand you. Like no matter if you open up to people or not, they just don't get you. And you're like, I'm alright with look, I know how to just sail this boat by myself anyway. So I've been doing it for so long, you know, whatever. I steer this way and I pull down and I do this that way, you know. I tie it off and you like I already I already got the handbook on how to do this, right? So coming into the third chakra and I do wanna say the nine is like that wish fulfillment of this knowledge. So it's giving you the satisfaction of I'm on the right path, I know what I'm doing. The eight is that infinite movement forward. So it's giving you that balance as well, okay? Um, but the eight, again, it's like you feel something coming towards you. You just don't know what. And you could be trying to tap into that third eye, but you balance it out your third eye chakra as well, okay? Um, but with this six, I feel like, again, it's, like I said, balance. But I feel like it's something that you're trying to tap into, when it comes to this for the stability of your heart chakra, again, your heart chakra is open and you're trying to transform. Whoa, hold up. You try to transform how you feel about a situation, a current situation that you're dealing with or a situation that could have separated or you, you could have tried to move on from, but you can't. Like you feel like you lost in the situation or you, you try to emotionally separate yourself from it or you could have moved on but it keeps popping up for you okay you, you trying to like walk away from it but somehow you feel emotionally connected to it um and you try to you could be trying to achieve happiness in the situation but the universe keep bringing it back to you for a reason because eventually for some of you this connection is gonna come back together you both had to separate because Ultimately, you had to grow, okay? Uh, it could be a twin flame connection. I, I get the runner chaser energy here. Um, and the one thing I want to say, like, people don't understand about Pisces. Like, 
when you cut something off, like, we can cut it off in a heartbeat, honey. Don't, don't play with me. Like, type of energy, like, don't cross me because I can literally cut you like a sword. And people think that Pisces are so freaking sweet. Like, we are very freaking sweet. But when we cut, we cut. And we cut deep, baby. But for some reason, like, you try to cut this out and you cannot. You can't for some reason. So that's how, like, with your third eye chakra being here, that's how you know it's supposed to stay around. Um, this is a loving connection, though. Um, but you transform. Like, you're starting to see this differently. And I feel like this person holds true to your heart. It's so funny because I did not see this in the last reading. Um, this person could be a Leo. Because I think I got, I got this in the Leo reading. I don't know. I haven't done the other signs, but I think I got this in the Leo reading. Um, this is actually a person that she's holding. It could be herself, but this is a person. I'm not getting that she's holding herself. I mean, you could be holding yourself down. You're transforming yourself. Like, you're getting rid of the old you, bringing in the new you. But you're moving on from something. Like, you're moving on from the old way either that you thought or the old ways of your heart. Uh, that's what I just got. Um, but I feel like you felt hurt by this situation. Like you had to literally take your emotions out of this situation. Like you could have had to meditate. You could have had to just literally go in nature and say like, what am I to do with this situation? You could have cried over this situation. Something happened with the situation where... Like, with the green, I'm getting, it had to do with your heart. Like, it really broke you. It broke you because I feel like for some of you, you were done with love. You didn't want to really get back connected. You could have felt like with the four, this was like home to you with this person. Like, you wanted a family or this person could have spoke to you about home. Somewhere here, it was an emotional tie. Okay, and the universe showed you that with this person, that's what this was. Um, and you were invested. You were invested in the connection here. So what you don't realize is actually this connection is coming back around. You will know what this connection is. Um, it won't be a connection that's like abusive or anything like that. No, this connection will be something that is very fruitful. Um... It will be a good connection, you guys. It it won't be something that was super harsh. Okay? Someone could have walked away from you. Um, I'm getting this connection could evolve to separate people. Okay? you could This connection could have to do with someone else. And it could be someone currently in your life. So someone could be coming back from the past. Because this is giving this one is giving me past energy. Like someone could have like moved on. And someone could be currently like trying to talk to you. Or it could be through people. Because these are three different guys. Three different individuals. And this is the same woman. Yeah. Now, for the others of you, it could be you and two different guys. So, it could be three guys. Okay, play it, play it. I'm sorry, I did not mean to say that. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> but take it how the situation is because this is, to me, okay, I'm seeing it differently. This is the same guy that's here with the family. Haircut, one person, hair long. Um, if someone is holding back their emotions, their feelings, someone walked away. Someone's not truly telling you how they feel. Someone, okay, this person, hear me out, y'all, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This person is the same person. If somebody walked away. Hold on. Let's play ball, right? Somebody walked away. Someone is still holding on your heartstrings. This person is still looking at you. 
this person is the person who holds your heart. They're emotionally withdrawn. This person is dealing with emotional loss, right? This person is dealing with emotional loss from the past. But they're trying to get themselves together. Because they want this four. This four of wands energy. They want this uh, emotional stability with you. They want this emotional foundation with you. Um, emotional achievement with you. This person has moved on, but you can still feel their energy lingering with you. It, they could be emotionally lingering in the 5D with you, okay? But they've moved on, period. Like, Six of Swords moved on with other things. But you can still feel it because you don't know what's really going on. This person could have just left without saying anything. Okay? But... This person, whoever this person is, they truly care about you. This person is the person you will be with. They're just getting themselves together. And the universe is showing you signs. The universe is speaking to you through your third eye because this person hasn't come forward to tell you about that. This Whoever this person is is the person, and I don't like to call it like that, you're going to have children with because fertility is here. You're going to have a new beginning with this person. See, it's two black cards right here with the fertility. And this is six. So, and this is four. This is a ten. That would be like your ten of cups. Um... This person, I'm getting a strong vibe of this. This person could be like down to earth. Could like, I'm trying to give y'all a little more about this person so you could pinpoint who this person is. This person probably is like always on the move. Um, They like to be in the spotlight. This person, the person that moved on is like, on the outside they look good. To everybody else, they look good. But deep down, like, you know this person is more a narcissist. Like, you will know this person is a narcissist. Like, the stuff that they do. Like, you will feel your energy start to dissipate away from this person. Okay? This person over here is very genuine. They're, they're open. They're trying to let you in. They just don't know how yet. Okay? Um, but they really care about you. I feel like this person keeps a, is keeping an eye on you, but from a distance. But they, they truly care. This person, they could have felt like their time was run out. This person could be older, and this person is younger. This person wants children with you, though. For sure. For sure, for sure. Maybe two or three. I'm stuck on it. Oh, my goodness. And this, this adds up to 13, which is 4. So that comes out to this 4 that's right here. So that tells you right there. Um, And then that's the 4. That's the transformation that's over here, which is the 4. And like I said, 13, 4. They're going through transformation too. So you see how that plays together? And this person is a 6. So, you know, okay, I'm going to leave that right there, but that's it. Okay. So, again, here, you got headache and loss. So, you see the, how the blue goes with the blue? Headache, this person is your headache and your loss. They're moving on. You don't understand why you're in this headache and loss energy. Because this person hasn't said anything why they're moving on, this and that. And you feel, you could feel like you're losing them. Because you are, right? Because they haven't said anything, but that's because your third eye chakra is open. But again, you see the purple is here, right? You see that partnerships and alliances. You building this with this person, but you only feel it energetically, right? Which takes us off into the healthy six, harmony. Yeah. So the person is transforming in the background. 
like I said, that person, this person is tired. Like, they've been through so much. But because they keep putting on fake faces to everyone else outside of them instead of being true to them, because this person is more about healing and spirituality. This person has that, but because they keep doing other things in the background, they really hasn't come to who they truly are. Then, you know, that's what they're going to do. So this person is triumphing through everything to be who they want to be, who they are. See that? So like I said, the black cards to me are the spirituality cards. This person is coming in harmony and triumph to make it. So you can have this firm foundation, another four. Four wands. That's that backbone. That's that the red, the hot, the fire card. That's the... Um, Oh, what did I want to say? I just threw myself off. That's that, it's the firm foundation, but not only is it that, that's the, uh, I want to say it's the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra. Yeah. And that's the, uh, like, it, the way to work that chakra out is, like, dancing or doing yoga. So you can get into that a little more, like shaking your hips. That's the chakra, like the way to feel that is you can do two fingers and it's under your navel. Um, but then you have here, your passion ignites. Again, another purple. See, I'm telling you, this is that fertility. So as you are dancing, as you are getting into that energy, as you get into that fire, see, look. You're happy again because you are releasing. It's a karmic cycle that you're releasing here. Okay. Let me see. Let's go. And you have here the wisdom. So the transformation, this person, whoever this person is, they're, they're just finding themselves. That's all. And they come with wisdom. You have wisdom because you're a solitude. It's the same thing here. Then you have the 19 light, which is a 10, okay? And I'm sorry, you guys, my nose is getting stuffy. My sinus has been acting up. But you have this material harvest, see? He comes back out. Booyah. He comes back out, the 9. So you move and he move from the 8 to the 9. Material harvest is here. So moving to, um, you move from the positive movement forward to the material harvest. So you come off those rocky waters that you were in into the material harvest, the fruits of your labor, making those sacrifices. So you come out of, I feel like you came from those rocky waters, right? You come the 12, the 12 is the 3. Which is 12, 13, the transformation. So you had to go through those lessons to see where you really truly wanted to be, right? And I feel like for a lot of you, it was... You know how they say, sometimes when we really want something so bad, it's not always what we truly need in life, right? So under the deck... You have here, you get through the obstacles and challenges. Sacrificing in silence. You're sacrificing, look, to moving on. You're sacrificing that someone is moving on out of your life and you can't, this person isn't even talking about why they're moving on, how they're moving on, but you can feel it through your third eye chakra. The universe is helping you through this situation, but you are moving towards love and love is beginning in your life which is a green card which is this new beginning right here now for some of you it will be this person coming back into your life okay with a new beginning with an offer because they are healed because they had to go within to open their heart chakra to see what they were doing in this connection to make you feel as though you were